hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to add searching feature in the portal side and in case you missed previous discussion about how to add sorting feature in the portal side please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the playlist you can see odoo development available with different playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases and in case you need any support related odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github and make sure you can follow that repository we have some social media pages make sure you can follow to get the latest notification so let's back to our main topic so how you can add a portal main menu here as a student right how you can add a list view how you can add the form view how you can also add the pagination in the list view how you can also add pagination in the form view plus how you can also add sorting feature here in the portal side in the list view all the topics already covered please check previous discussions and today we will try to implement the searching feature so here you can also add the searching feature without any customization in the xml side all right so here we already done the sorting feature like this right in our last discussion now we are trying to add searching feature here so there is a two things uh, based on based on which field we have to search right and uh, what is the search user is providing so search value so these two things we have to uh, we have to cover in this discussion all right so these two points without any xml customization here everything should be available here in this controller level we can maintain okay so now if you remember last time what we did what we done is the sorting feature now i'm trying to add here the searching one the search list here we have to also add the dictionary okay and here let me copy this one and paste here i will try to add like let's say all the student name and the school okay the label also the same so here in the label we can add here all right after that here we can say like student name here we can say the student and instead of this order we can use input input and input and simple i will try to add here uh, let's say the specific key or the field name uh, let's say name and here let's say the school underscore id okay now so this is the main difference here like we created a new variable we passed out here the three values like search all name and the school okay after that simple we have to pass here two parameters in the controller and simple we can use here the search right something like this comma and search in so here let's say i will use search in as a all like this and then after comma okay so this is for the like let's say user will type something and we will return here in the search and here in the front end side it will display these three options the all student name and the school based on the selection right it will return all name or the school in search underscore in so by default i am trying to add here all this one okay now this part you have to understood this is the first step now the st second step is we have to fetch the data right based on the search underscore in so let's say here search domain and simple i will try to add let's say search list and i will pass here the search underscore in 
like whatsoever they selected and another thing is we can also pass here the domain so search if it is available as a all we can pass like this if it is a name we can add here let's say name i like and it should be a search okay and the same thing for the school underscore id dot name that's it okay and here simple we will use return domain and this domain we have to pass here right copy paste and simple i will pass here this domain after that in the page detail right here in the url arguments we have to pass here one more extra values which is this one search in search in comma the actual search result and i will add here okay and another thing is in the page detail we already passed that is fine after that we have to also update the queue context here so for that like i will use here search underscore in it's something like this right after that we have to also add the search input okay so search bar underscore inputs so here simple we can use this one this variable what we used here and simple the search what we search like search from based on the user right so this parameter we have to also pass and that's it after that we have to restart the service okay no need to upgrade the module but uh, here let me remove this one and now you can see here i will refresh the page and now you can see search bar also available you can see here so search bar also available like this way okay and if you click here right all student name or school so it will display based on that search so let's say i want to search name a uh, student name right so i will select the student name and here simple i will use here the sunny okay and when i will click to this search so something is not working here so we have some error here let me minimize so this search list search in and the domain okay so here what happened is the name key is not available right so let me add here the name this all should be this all and the school it should be the school let me restart the service let me go back refresh the screen and here i will type let's say sunny now you can see all the sunny related records available here so here total five records available due to that you can see here right and for the double check okay five records available right so due to that it's display here let's say if i will add csv so it will display only one and let's say if i will click to say uh, search all right and i will do some random things so it won't be search anything here you can see here right why because in the domain we didn't apply any condition for this all 
okay and for the school profile and for the name we just added this condition so due to that it will filter based on that and another thing is uh, if I will try to let's say school and let me go to the school profile so let's say the school or demo let me add here the demo demo and you can see all the demo related schools available here it's a school it will also display the school you can see here so like this way you can add a dynamic search view in the portal side using like this way without any customization in the JS part or in the XML side you can directly add in this controller side okay if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in next session